Static X was an American industrial metal band from Los Angeles, California, formed in 1994. The lineup fluctuated over the years, but always held constant with band founder, frontman, vocalist and guitarist Wayne Static. Founders of the band were Wayne Static and original drummer Ken J. The band rose to fame with their 1999 debut album Wisconsin Death Trip, where the band's heavy industrial metal sound found attention within the burgeoning new metal movement of the late 90s, with the album eventually going platinum in the United States. Static X has been described as industrial metal, new metal and alternative metal. Self-described as evil disco, static style, according to the Washington Post, combines electronic elements influenced by industrial artists such as Ministry and Skinny Puppy, with the harshness of bands like Pantera. Static X's style has also used elements of genres such as techno, speed metal and thrash metal. Wayne Static has cited house music as an influence on Static X's music. Wayne has also said that through 1994 to 96 he listened to The Prodigy and The Crystal Method. Static has said that he imagined Static X was gonna be like a Prodigy or a Crystal Method and more of an electronic based thing. Static X was founded in 1994 after the disbandment of Wayne Static's prior band, Deep Blue Dream. Static played in this group in the late 1980s with the future Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan. However, when the Smashing Pumpkins began to gain popularity, Corgan made the choice to commit all of his attention to the Smashing Pumpkins, and the band eventually disbanded. Static and Ken J later moved to Los Angeles to start a new band with guitarist Emerson Swinford, whom they had met through their mutual friend, Chicago singer-songwriter PJ Olson. They formed a band called Drill, which included Tony Campos on bass and started performing in the LA music scene. After Swinford left to pursue touring and session work, they recruited guitarist Koichi Fukuda and renamed the band Static X. Static X signed with Warner Brothers Records in early 1999 and released their debut album Wisconsin Death Trip on March 23, 1999. Soon after they released their first single Push It, followed by I'm With Stupid and Bled For Days in 2000. Static X toured strictly in support of the album and twice performed on Ozfest supporting Fear Factory. In the following year a promotional EP, The Death Trip Continues, was also released. Commercially the effort paid off, with the album eventually going platinum in 2001. However, the pressure of recording a follow-up was hard on Static and the rest of the band. Static worried they would be unable to deliver another successful album. He desired to start work on follow-up material while still touring in support of Wisconsin Death Trip, while the rest of the band wanted to focus on enjoying the touring. Without support, Static took matters into his own hands, writing all of the material himself over the course of the two years of touring. This caused friction from within the band, who resented Static for not waiting for them or including them in on the creation process, of which all members had been part of in the prior album. Fukuda would leave the band upon the conclusion of the tour, leading the band to record the album as a three-piece. Despite this, the band still managed to find success with the second album, Machine, eventually being certified gold with half a million units sold. Trip Eisen replaced Fukuda on guitar for touring in support of the album. In 
2002, Static would be contacted by Jonathan Davis of Korn. Davis had recently signed on to provide the soundtrack for the Queen of the Damned film, but due to contract limitations with Sony, was legally unable to actually perform the music he had written for the soundtrack. As a remedy of this, Davis contacted a number of metal vocalists, Static included, to sing on the songs he had written. Static provided vocals for one track, Not Meant For Me, with the Queen of the Damned soundtrack releasing in February 2002. The contribution would be a turning point for the band. The track, which was much more melodic than much of the band's music up until that point, would attract the attention of Warner Brothers executive Tom Welly, who pressured the band as a whole to pursue a melodic sound. Personnel and lineup changes would further alter the band's sound. The label would not allow the band to work again with record producer Ulrich Wilde as they had for the prior two albums, instead arranging for them to work with Josh Abraham, a producer known for working with more commercial and melodic mainstream bands such as Stained, Filter and Velvet Revolver. The album would be the first to feature Eisen's songwriting contributions and performances, and the only to feature session drummer Josh Fries from the band A Perfect Circle. Due to Jay leaving the band two days before beginning the formal recording process, the band's third album Shadow Zone was released on October 7, 2003 and debuted at number 20 on the Billboard 200, but failed to achieve the platinum or gold selling status of their prior two albums. Two singles were released to promote the album, The Only and So. The band proceeded to hire Nick Oshiro, formerly of Seether, who was selected as Jay's replacement and the band's permanent drummer to tour in support of the album. It is at this time that Static X were associated with new metal more so than ever, due to gaining a more mainstream, friendly sound that was relevant to new metal at the time. Start of War continued the change in sound found on Shadow Zone, but many songs of the album are heavier and feature a lot more screaming and aggressive lyrics. The overall tone of the album is more aggressive than Shadow Zone. The song titled Pieces features a guitar solo, something that was not found in the previous efforts of the band. Their fifth album, Cannibal, released on April 3, 2007, marked the studio return of their original guitarist Koichi Fukura. The album itself debuted at number 36 in the US, with sales of over 30,000. Cannibal was heavily rhythm focused and much less on melody, with Wayne Static completely excluding melodic singing from his performances. Also significant amount of solos has appeared on this album, distancing the band's sound further from new metal to industrial and groove metal territory. A sound that the band continued to develop also on their final LP release, Cult of Static. On May 10, 2007, it was announced that the band would be playing on the main stage at Ozfest 2007. Additionally, at the time, Static first announced his intention to release solo material, referring to it as Big Hammer. In the meantime, in November 2007, Campos temporarily joined Ministry as a touring bassist for Ministry's CU Lator in the wake of Paul Raven's death. The band began working on their sixth studio album Code of Static in January of 2008 after returning from the Operation Annihilation tour in Australia. 
Static stated that they intended to mix the longer build-ups and breakdowns from Wisconsin Death Trip with the heaviness that was present on Cannibal. <laughs> The album debuted at number 16 on the Billboard 200, the highest since their second studio album Machine. A new Static X song called Lunatic appeared on the soundtrack to the movie Punisher. The band toured in support of the album for the rest of the year, playing major concerts such as the Download Festival and Rock on the Range. After finishing their final tour dates in Australia at the end of 2009, Static announced that he would be focusing on his side project, then tentatively titled Pig Hammer. He later revealed that Campos had left the band and eventually joined the band Soulfly, but clarified that the band had not broken up, but rather members were just doing different projects at the time. Static began his solo touring in 2011, most notably playing Grass Pop Metal Meeting 2011. He released his debut solo album Pick Hammer on October 4th, 2011. In 2012, Wayne Static decided to reform Static X, but none of the original band members would join him. Instead, his solo band would tour under the name Static X. In June 2013, Static announced Static X's official breakup. Static blamed it on a disagreement with Campos over the rights of the band, citing that Campos was paid by Wayne for the use of the name while touring, but during that tour Wayne took ill. Being unable to play, the deal fell through, ending the band. Despite breaking up the band, Static still performed the band's music under his own name and solo band in 2014, most notably playing the Wisconsin Death Trip album in its entirety to celebrate the album's 15th anniversary. However, on November 1st, 2014, it was announced that Wayne Static died at the age of 48. Despite having a history of drug use, Static X's wife Sarah Ray released a statement saying that he had stopped his drug use in 2009 and his death was not drug overdose related. Despite her claims, in March 2015, the coroner's report indicated that his death was from a combination of excessive prescription drugs and alcohol in his system, though the manner of death was deemed natural. Oh, 